So, the moment many of you have been waiting for, the Student Leader of the Year. This award is given to the student who has risen above the rest in service to students, both on their campus and within MSCSA on the statewide level. This year's winner, uh, it was really unique uh, in that this year's winner received letters from students from all across the state. Many different campuses showed their support for this student. And, you know, I don't think he's ever going to really know how many people uh, submitted letters, but there was quite a few people. And I say he, he probably won't know because this, this is a, another one of those leaders who doesn't really seek attention. In fact, when one of the supporters told him uh, that they nominated, nominated him, he humbly said, well, there are a lot of people that deserve it this year. I know he was being genuine when he said that because the person he said that to was his wife <laughs> and he wouldn't dare mess with her. <laughs> so I won't draw it out anymore and leave you in suspense. Your student leader of the year is Steve Saban. here tonight, that Steve truly deserves that title of president. And the in this recognition, on his campus, he's accomplished great feats of record numbers in Senate and furthering the cause of community health on his campus. And MSCSA, he literally put his blood, sweat, and tears into running marathons and single-handedly, as we mentioned earlier, raised $3,000 for the MSCSA Leadership Scholarship. This is uh, a couple of letters of support uh, shared this. Steve is someone that I go to for advice, and he has never failed to set an example of what a student president should be and how we can all be how, how we can all better ourselves by following his example. You might know who wrote the following few sentences. Steve is always running around the campus looking for someone at a meeting or out figuring out a problem. This is why his wife can never find him. <laughs> At conferences or MSCSA events, Steve tries to talk with every person to hear what they have to say. Another reason why his wife can never find him. <laughs> Steve, at the end of my term, I know that I can rest assured that this organization will be in great hands under your leadership. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud to have worked with you and You've been a great friend to me, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you can offer this, continue to offer this organization. So please, everybody, again, Steve, Student Leader of the Year. First of all, um, the many of you that nominated me, thank you. Obviously, I have to thank my rock, Katie. Um, she's the one that keeps me grounded, and I swear has a kind of a guidance tractor probably tacked on me somewhere. <laughs> um, especially going into next year. Um, there's one person here that, um, or not here, that I have to thank, and is the person that, after many years of struggles, I finally learned the lessons that he taught me was uh, my grandfather. And the lesson that he taught me was, no matter what it is that you decide to do, shoot high and aim for it, and don't stop, don't stop moving. And it's within that every goal that I set for myself this year for my Senate, um, I pushed harder and even faster. So thank you everybody for the nominations and your support. And I take this in honor of moving into next year as your next president. So thank you very much. Yeah. 